Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Words of Psalm 4 How long will you people turn my glory into shame? How long will you love delusions and seek false gods? Know that the Lord has set apart his faithful servant for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Tremble and do not sin. When you are on your bed, search your hearts and be silent. Offer the sacrifices of the righteous and trust in the Lord. Many, Lord, are asking who will bring us prosperity. Let the light of your face shine on us. Fill my heart with joy. Then in peace I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Almighty God, have mercy on the world that you have made, on our greed, our anger, our envy, our selfishness and our pride. May the light of your coming awaken us to the glory of the life into which you call us through your Son, and in him may we find peace and joy. Isaiah chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord, high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him were seraphim, each with six wings, with two wings they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with two they were flying. And they were calling to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. At the sound of their voices the doorposts and thresholds shook, and the temple was filled with smoke. Woe to me, I cried, I am ruined. For I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. My eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Seeing the majesty, power and searing holiness of God exposes Isaiah to his own sinfulness and that of the world around him. It leads him to cry out for salvation. Those who see Jesus are no less confronted with the power, majesty and searing holiness of God. But in him, that salvation is present. Lord Jesus Christ, give us eyes to truly see the glory of your majesty, that in looking upon your holiness, we would also see your mercy, that in recognising our sinfulness, we would also be drawn by your grace that in admitting our need, we would also discover our salvation and all for the honour of your name. Amen. As we look for your coming among us, open our eyes to behold your presence, strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise now and forever. Amen.